uh, well, about me first. Said so gave me a good introduction there. I've been working in national, international media for a long time. I uh, worked in newspapers, worked in radio, TV, digitally. I've worked for Al Jazeera, Mashable, um, a, lot, a big long list of people, and you don't need to hear uh, all of that. In, interestingly, to me anyway, um, about 10 years ago, I took a bit of a career break. We moved to London and I started working in um, more in the marketing, brand storytelling, content creation area. And I found that to be very interesting for me. Uh, it was a bit of a departure, but the skills that I learned in newspapers and broadcasting came in very handy. And they're actually very much in demand. Journalism, uh, despite all the chat about AI bots and all that kind of stuff, Journalism and the basic skills of journalism are still a very valuable thing to have, uh, and not just in terms of working for digital news sites or newspapers or broadcasters, or whatever, but actually kind of in the crossover world and in, in a lot of what we're seeing now, which is the uh, creation, uh, content creation world. I've said to people before that talking about bringing digital into a local environment and especially in a market that it hasn't been much of uh, there before. For us, it felt like and the reaction we got was like, we brought color TV to Cork in a weird sort of respect. Like long before your, your guys uh, started watching TV, there was black and white TVs and there was color TV. And I felt that what was mostly what was being done in Cork was in black and white. People were putting newspapers on the internet. And the one thing you can't do in a digital environment is put newspapers on the internet. You can't just take what you have in the paper and slap it down on a web page and put a picture on it and go there, that will do fine. And I think this is important and worth saying, the crossover between traditional media, digital media and content creation brand storytelling, marketing, which I've worked in before for five years in London, he's huge now. And it's it can be back and forth, uh, but there are major opportunities now in what we traditionally would have called comms or PR, where there traditionally would have been a real firewall between journalism and comms PR. That firewall is gone now and I think there's some very interesting opportunities for people to take what they, their experience or what they know from journalism and apply it in that wider area of content creation, brand storytelling, comms, whatever you want to call it. Um, and not just in a commercial sense as well. So local radio is a huge grip. Local newspapers still have a major grip, but things are changing. And the entire direction of travel of media in Ireland, national, Dublin, local, regional, is towards digital journalism. So no matter what you want to do or what your future plans are, uh, in which areas you want to work in, like if you go and work for RTE now, they'll want to know that you're good online, that you're, you can operate digitally, that if you're working in sports, that you're not just going to write sports reports on you know big matches that you're going to know how to build your own personal brand uh on instagram it, it's it's just the job of the editor to to decide what the what the personality of the site is going to be and it's the most important thing to do when you're sitting down to plan anything, to plan anything online, because as everybody in the room there will know, it's the toughest thing to do online, to come across as genuine, to come across as interesting without being pushy, to come across as you know funny without being hysterical. So it's a very thin line, it's a very hard line to tread. Uh, and we get we don't always get it right. But what we do have here and what a lot of digital sites don't have, it's something I imported from newspapers, is we have an actual style book that I give to people when they come in and start working here, uh, which kind of explains how, what it is we do, our tone of voice, our personality, and we work very hard at sticking to that. 
pitch stories now, start doing it today. But one very important thing that uh, people always miss when they pitch stories, look, if you're going to pitch to the Donegal Democrat or the, the Cabin Constitutionist or RTE or the Irish Times or whoever, look at their output, look at what they do, right? So you got to pitch to what to what is in their wheelhouse. What I would say is it's a very interesting time to be doing that sort of thing because, like I said, it's the tr traditional PR, the sending out of press releases and paying photographers a lot of money to take photographs of three men in suits holding up a sign uh, is that's kind of to me very old school and and I don't want to disparage anybody's job or their sector or anything like that but it's again people working in the sector know it as well that's changing and what you're looking for is a much more organic style of communicating with people but what that's going to take is a very good knowledge of social media of how to engage an audience how to package a story how to package a video how to package a podcast to reach maximum audience those are skills that journalists should have as well so if you can get those skills through journalism, especially if you can hone them through journalism and show a proven track record of being able to do that. And also, yeah, one other thing I should say to everybody, and I say to people who come in here to work, young people, and a lot of times they hate hearing it, you have to be very, very careful and attentive to your personal brand as a journalist. There are plenty of examples in national media today of people who have been very clever and talented, and I'm not disparaging anybody, but very determined and single-minded about building their personal brand, even while working for titles. People who have broken big stories and made sure the world know it was them, as well as the examiner, the times, whoever, and who have parlayed that into pretty good careers. Um, and again, I'm not knocking it, but you have to build your own brand. 